We've had over 40 people write into our show about an incredible young man from Pennsylvania named Ben. Ben was diagnosed with autism when he was two years old. He's apparently one of my biggest fans. He also loves the Philadelphia Eagles football team and my friend John, John Dornboss. So we brought him here, and right now he's backstage with John. He thinks he's filming something for Ellen Tube, but we may have just said that to get him here. John, if you can hear me, just yell out, I love Ellen. I love Ellen! Me too! Oh, we love Ellen! Yes! God. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to surprise Ben right okay, now. Okay, we got to calm down right. for a minute. Okay. Why do you love football? I love um, football. Ben. Hey, excuse me. Oh, I'm wait. sorry. Ben. Somebody wants to say something. <gasps> Hi, Ben. Ah! <laughs> Why? What? Wait, is ben. this happening? What? What? Wait, wait, what are you on, doing back there? You're supposed to be out here. Come wait, on. wait, 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 wait. Ben. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Ben, guess what? Guess what? We're going out. Yes, you're supposed to be here. What's up, love? <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> this oh. is amazing. I uh, dreamed about this for three years. Well, you made it happen. I did? Yeah, you did. You dreamed about it, and now you're sitting right here. I'm <laughs> so happy to have you here. Oh, my gosh. I've, I've heard so much about you. Mm -hmm. So you're my biggest fan. Yeah. How, how often do you watch the show? I watch it every day, Owen. Oh, well, that's what I'm asking. That's all I ask of you. It's, <laughs> Every look, just like Ben here, and you're a huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. Absolutely. Yeah, and and uh, what do you think of this guy right He's there? He's amazing. He's incredible. He does a lot for autism. He does a lot for the city of Philadelphia. Uh, you know, because of people like this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> you inspire cry. us, man. I'm gonna cry. This is so exciting. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's very exciting because you dreamed about this for three years. I did. So you so you were diagnosed with autism at two years old. Yes, Ellen. It and was incredible. You couldn't talk. When I was two, I, I I didn't talk. I only knew 200 words. I mean, I only knew 20 words. 20 words. And, and then um, a speech therapist taught me how to talk. Her name is Paula Barson. And today I just talk and talk. There's no <laughs> off button off me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty uh, hopeful for people out there who have kids with autism and they're told they're not going to talk and then all of a sudden you learn how to talk. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. So, And you have how many jobs? I have like two jobs. All right. What do you do? I work at Olive Garden. I do salad and breadsticks. Uh -huh. And I also work at uh, Dorney Park. I'm a park ambassador. Uh -huh. And I walk around and talk to guests all day. And, and I turn the... <laughs> and I turn the frowns to smiles. You turn the frowns to smiles. Yes. That and I like to be like you because you know why? I love surprising people and I love saying hello and, and I like to give out surprises. Like I like giving them fast names and um, soda cups. Oh, that's so nice. So that's your favorite job? Absolutely. Oh, that's great. But p giving out breadsticks is nice, too. <laughs> you know? that's my Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Yeah. Oh, sure. sure. Uh, that's the yeah. best place on earth. It's, it's Never like, any possible. It's like family. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, you like to raise awareness about autism. Yep. Uh, why is that important to because, you? Because um, I have a great quote, Ellen. Having autism is not a bad thing, and it doesn't characterize who we are. We are unique and special, just like a rainbow. Yes. Yes, Ben. Yeah. Let's be best friends, Ellen, forever. For, uh, let's be best friends. Yes. OK, we'll do it. I have another best friend in the audience, but we'll be best friends, too. Uh. All right. <laughs> So you're an ambassador for the Eagles. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? I actually um, talk to people all day, and I, write, re I, I research funds for autism, uh -huh. and I um, do a lot of stuff, and I help people that's with autism. That's great. You've got a lot of jobs. I do. OK, so uh, we, you have a surprise, right? I, I do. OK, I tell do. him what you're going to do. I, I think we're going to do some magic, but I'm going to need your help. OK. So sh should we do it now? Actually, no. I forgot to give you one thing. I forgot to give you a pen. Oh. Oh. For you. You know what? And you know what? I, I have another surprise. In order for this to work in a little bit, I think you should wear this because I heard you left yours at home. So I got my ring. What? And I heard they gave you a replica, but for right now, you got to wear that for this, this little segment here. Okay. You are a Super Bowl champion to this entire world and what, what you do, You're... and you are awesome. Don't lose that ring. Yeah, don't lose <laughs> yeah. that. Oh, I, I forgot to show it on camera. Yeah. There we go. There we yeah. go. <laughs> and then I got All this. Right. <laughs> All right. So we'll take a break. And when we come back, John is going to do some magic, which is uh, always fun for me anyway.
We're back with John Darnboss, my friend Ben, my best friend Ben. Oh. So Ben, you've been raising money for Eagles Autism Challenge. How much are you trying to raise? Ten thousand dollars, Ellen. Ten thousand dollars. All right, that's a, that, and you, we're going to put up a link to the page so we can help raise the money. So you can. Uh, you can or go to our website and we'll help you. All right, John, magic? Yeah, we're going to try something, but I need you to help me out. Absolutely. Let's open the doors. Oh, wow, We have that's a huge magic. gift box. But, hey, but Ben, this is the only problem. What? This thing came. Look, but here's the problem. This thing came, and I don't know why, but it came empty, which is really, really weird. Here's what I need your help with, pal. I need you. What's your favorite magic word? Um, Acrobadabra. That's amazing. Are you ready for this? Ready. Give it to me again, pal. What is it? Abracadabra. Abracadabra? Yeah. And you do this? John Dornboss. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's an even better word. And if I actually reach in here, I got a gift for you, and you got tickets to Universal Studios. Woo! Not only that, you are going to ride every roller coaster. Absolutely. But you're going to go to the front of the line, and you're never going to wait. This is for you guys, and you're going tomorrow. Woo! Yes! Yes! All right. Yes! Wonderful. Absolutely. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That was a good word, Ben. That was a good word. But everybody knows the word abracadabra. Yep. I'm sure that you can think of maybe a bigger word that has maybe a bigger meaning, mm -hmm. and then maybe we can get a bigger gift. What do you think? The problem is, it's the, the bigger the word, the bigger the gift. What about humongous? Oh my gosh, that's such a it's big right, word. Yes. It's a, you're yeah, right. That's a big word. The magic word is humongous. humongous. Yes, humongous. Yeah. One, two, three. Say humongous. humongous. Everybody, hold on. One, two, three. So we can reach in. And guess what, Ben? The Eagles decided to give you something really big. It's the helmet. Everybody signed it. We got a t shirt. And this is cool. Ellen, hold this. Yeah, okay. What is this, Ellen? These are tickets to, to go see the Philadelphia Eagles, and you've got field access. Any game. He can go to any game he wants. And Ben, are you ready for this? Ready. Not only are you going to go to the game, but you're going to be on the field with the players. Any game you want, you let us know, and you are going. That's amazing. But hold on. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It is exciting. There's something I learned. There's something I learned. What did you learn, Every John? show, Ellen says, be kind to one another. Yes. And I've learned this, that when Ellen has a magic word, and guess what? When she says it, that's when the real magic happens. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can do this. I don't know if it's going to happen. But uh, still empty. I think your favorite thing is when Ellen says what be, at the end of her show? Be kind to one another. I think you should say that. One, two, three. Be kind to one another. And guess what? I think we can reach in here. And now we have another gift oh. that Ellen wants to give you. Oh, man. And guess what? Wow. This is going to well, go right here. This is going to be amazing. Our friends at Shutterfly are inspired by what you're doing for the community. So they want to give you $10,000 for your Eagles Autism Challenge. And you got your $10,000. He's got his $10,000 for Eagle Autism. Awesome. You bring that too. <laughs> Everything you dream is coming true. We'll yes. be right back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!